honor Bishop. Um, see, see, um, well, a lot of individuals don't know how, how much love he has. Um, it's not that he just show love to individuals who um, grew up in church. He also show love to individuals who might do everything wrong. In my life, I didn't grow up in church. I grew up not listening to my parents, doing drugs, going to prison. But that same man, when God told me what to do, he told me to call Pastor Hadley and ask him, tell him, matter of fact, he ain't tell me to ask, he said, tell Bishop, I want you to come there and clean up this church. And my life this day, to this day right now, Bishop, I'm living a dream. I honor you. I thank you. I, I don't know if individuals know how much everybody say some things are caught. And some things are taught. When I asked the Holy Spirit, what's the best way to honor Bishop? He says, take in the preach word of God. Allow the Holy Spirit to help you apply it to your life and let God manifest fruit from it. So when Bishop is preaching, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but that's our counseling. So whenever Bishop is preaching, we're supposed to allow the Holy Spirit to apply it to our lives, and then God will manifest fruit from it. Like Elder just said, we should see fruit. He needs to see fruit from what he's doing. So when he's preaching, we got to understand that living by the word of God, there is absolutely, come on, Holy Spirit, there is absolutely no way to live by the word of God and remain the same. No, it's... It's not the pastor. It's living by the word of God. When we live by the word of God, there is absolutely no positive, no way for our lives to remain the same. When we live by the word of God, the Holy Spirit will take us from having a religious mindset to having a kingdom mindset. Come on, come on. And when we think kingdom, we seek first the kingdom of God. But that's only going to happen when we're living by the word of God. When we live by the word of God, there's three areas, come on, Holy Spirit, there's three areas that every believer in this church can live in everywhere in your life. One of them comes from Romans chapter 5, verse 17. It says, for if by one man's offense, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Everybody say reign. The second thing we will do comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. It says, let the peace of God rule in your heart. Everybody say rule. The third thing will happen when we live in by the word of God comes from Genesis 1, 26. He says, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion. Everybody say dominate. When we live by the word of God, we will all reign, rule, and dominate in every area of our lives. Everybody say, we reign, we, reign. we rule, we and we dominate. we dominate. Hallelujah. Once Bishop, once God gives Bishop the word, and he brings the word to us, we have to allow the Holy Spirit, watch this, not for the person sitting next to you. We have to allow the Holy Spirit to apply it to you. Once he applies to you, God's able to manifest fruit in it. But it only happens when we live in. I thank God for Bishop. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'll be teaching people at work things Bishop taught me. At work, they cleaned out these closets, right? And they made all this room. And I said, my bishop said, as soon as you clean out a closet, people fill it back up. <laughs> as soon as I went to work the next day, I said, who put all this stuff in the closet? But watch this. I learned that by walking in the hallways with bishop. 
The best way to honor him is by us showing him, if our lives, come on, Holy Spirit, if we produce fruit, then we become the demonstrators of what he's preaching. It's, you're, we're not going to always get it right, but when we're learn, living by the word of God, we have to pay attention to God. We have to pay attention because I'm a purpose-driven individual to my core. When we live by the word of God, we have to pay attention because we know God does not change. But we have to understand he does shift. Oh, man, listen to me. Sometimes God will shift and we keep remaining the same. And if we do that, we don't have a kingdom mindset. That's a religious mindset. If we look in the Bible, let me read this scripture to you. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. Everybody say, God shift. God shift. In chapter 30, Sam, 1 Samuel 30, verse 8, it says, So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And God answered him and said, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake him, and without fail, recover all. Everybody say, God don't change. Now, 1 Sam Chronicles chapter 14, verse 10. 1 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 10. It says, And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistine? Will you deliver them into my hand? The Lord said to him, Go up, for I will do it. But pay attention. If you read verse 14, it says, Then David inquired again of God and asked God, Shall I go up? And God said, No. Because God didn't change, but he, somebody got that. But if you're not living by the word of God, you won't realize when God has shifted from one area to the next. If you're living with a religious mind instead of a kingdom mind, you won't get to where God wants you to go. Because you hear when he wants you to be, give God the glory. We have to live by the word of God. When we live by the word of God, now remember, it's important that you get this part. I did not grow up in church. I need you to get this because I came to Bishop and all I heard was him preaching. I didn't have another person telling me. <laughs> I'm trying to, t he gave me a Bible and he says, Michael, Seek first the kingdom of God. I never stopped. He gave us, and he's continuing to give us, things to go to the next level. And thus says the Lord, Mr. Bishop David Adam Hadley Sr., sometimes I don't even care if you think you've got to put your seatbelt on in the airplane and you're thinking you're about to land. God says sometimes I'm taking you higher because of the turbulence. It ain't over, Bishop. We just getting started. It, it, we, 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 just round, we just getting started. Because what the anointing on our lives is supposed to inspire other individuals. I don't know who in here who is trying to tap out. But the Lord told me to tell you, we just getting started. We got to live by the word of God. When we live by the word of God, we'll realize that God often shifts. But the religious mind will think that he stays the same and don't realize when he changed. I need everybody to go to Genesis chapter 1 and I'm done. I need everybody to look at Genesis chapter 1 and we're going, I'm going to call out a scripture and I want y'all to read the first three words. Everybody say, we live in? By the, word of God. by the word of God. Genesis chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse, let's test it out. Verse 3, first three words, call them out. Okay, I got to get more people, somebody in here. More people, first, first three words, verse 3. And God said. Verse 6. And God said. Verse 9. And God said. 
Verse 11. Verse 14. Verse 20. 24. 26. 29. 31. Oh my God. What? You, you, watch this. When you live by the, watch this. The Bible said, he said, he said, he said, and then the Bible says he, when you live by the word of God, you position yourself to say what you want. Come on, child of God. You got to live by the word of God. God did not change. He just shifted. He said it until he saw it. I don't know if you know this about me or not, but when I was on crack cocaine, I told my wife I won't always be on crack cocaine. I said it until I...